today we're going to be taking a look at the functions in Python and functions are actually reusable block of code that perform a specific task they actually help in making the code modular and even manageable so I want to give you some syntax right here okay so um, if we want to create something like a function in Python it's really very simple we'll start that with a keyword called a def followed by the name of the function okay so let's say that this is here this particular place is actually going to be the function name like this and you can throw in your parentheses within this parentheses you can have what we call parameters okay this is going to be parameters like that and then you throw in your what is it called your your uh, what is it? your colons right here and then down here you can go ahead and have something like the body of the function in here if you if the actual if actually the function actually requires a body we can just say something like function body right here stands for the body of that particular function okay keyword called a return to actually designate so we can have something like expression in here so i'm going to just do let's say this is going to be expression like that okay you can have your expression on that this particular line and after that you can go ahead and then do the printing or whatever you want to do down there okay so this but this is just basically how the syntax actually looks like okay if you want to create one and of course we are going to actually create one right now to actually experiment with what you want to do but first of all, let me just comment out this uh, what I just have right now, which is basically an example of uh, um, how to basically create a function. Okay, so let me throw. I want to just cut this off from here. I just want us to make sure that this is actually commented out this way. Okay, so this is just how it looks. So this becomes a comment right now. It will not actually run. So for us to basically create a function right now, this is basically our first function. And what I want to do right now is I want to create a function that I'm going to use to just greet someone, okay? Just greeting type of a function like that. So let me just put something like a comment here, um, greeting function or function to greet someone, okay? Just just do whatever you like here, okay? You can write whatever you like in that comment, okay? So to define the function, I'm going to just do def right here, just like we explained earlier. I'm going to just say greet. And then within this particular grid right here, we can go ahead and pass in our parameter. So say for instance, I would like to mention the person's uh, name, the person I'm going, I'm going to greet, I want to mention his name. So I'm going to just do name right here. Okay, so I don't want to put his name right uh, correctly uh, right away, but I'm going to just find a way to pass in that in there. Okay, so under this place down here, where we are going to actually like create our, our what is it called, expression. I'm going to just do return right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and then adding our expression like right here but well, let's say for instance i'm going to just say something like um i'm going to just say hello to someone right so i'm going to just do hello like this and we can introduce a comma right here you know if we introduce a comma in here we can go ahead and then pass in maybe the person's name right here but i'm going to pass it in such a way that i'm going to just put name here since i have this up here okay but this isn't actually going to work unless i try to format this as a string literal and if you want to format this as a string literal, you need to pass in um, F right here, which actually stands for formatted a string, okay? So this is actually going to help me be able to pass this particular thing that I just passed in here right now, okay? So with this F right here, I've been able to maybe pass this particular expression in here into this particular place, okay? So you can even throw in, I'm going to throw in my quotation right here. And then down here, what I basically want to do right now it will now go ahead and then print out okay so i want to do just something like print and within this print right here we can just call our function from this place so this is i want to just copy everything in here and then paste it within these braces and what i want to do within this place right now is instead of mentioning name here we can go ahead and mention the name of the person we want to greet okay let's say that code kinder is the name of a person i'll just do code kinder right there Okay, so this is actually going to be either hello or you can say good morning, whatever you want to do. It's completely up to you. So I'm going to just change that to good morning. And that's just that on that particular line. And then if we save the changes right now and then run, we're going to see what is actually going to um, basically happen right now. So let's save the changes. And then I want to go ahead and run this. And then if you take a look right here, you see that the result says good morning, code kinder. Okay, so you can change this to be anything if you say something like David. And save the changes and then run that again you see that it changes to david right there okay so that's just that um before me to actually explain this more remember that i said that under this particular line we're just running the expression with the keyword return right here and then i have this f right here so that it can enable, enable me dynamically add whatever name that the person is actually going to type in right here okay so this will dynamically help me put that name in here 
and then merge it with whatever message that we have to be having here okay there are some other ways you can actually do this you can do this with something like concatenation where you are going to basically be adding something like a plus sign you remove this and then add something like plus sign right there and the, the rest of that okay but this is the most elegant way to actually do this okay and it's really very simple and straightforward and it's very very flexible so that's why i'm using that we could come across those other ways to actually do it at a later time but for now we stick to it okay so that's just basically what this is and that's just that so the next thing i want to do is for us to take a look at um, function parameters so i'm just let me comment this out put this down here sorry about this it should be on this particular line and then the next thing i want to do is just basically going to be function parameters so i'm going to just do function parameters and we're basically specifically we want to take a look at uh, uh, what is actually called a positional argument okay so it's going to be positional argument and i'm going to just do something down here with that right now however i want to like us to i want us to actually calculate the area of a rectangle with this expression right now so i'm going to just put a comment here again and just say something like calculate let's do calculate the area of a rectangle okay so to do that is really very simple what do we need to do first we need to create the function right so with that we'll do def and we can go ahead and name our function so this is going to be calculates underscore area throw in your parentheses right here and of course you can pass in your parameter right here and to calculate the area of a, a rectangle we're going to need the length and also the width so let's just do length right here make it very simple introduce a comma and just the something like width within this particular place okay so let's throw in our quotes um our what is it called colons right there and then down here what we want to do right now is to work on our expression so to grab onto our expression it's going to be actually i'm going to just use return keyword and we can just do length and this is going to be multiplied by that of the width and that basically actually going to give us our uh, the area of a rectangle okay so that we'll have that right there so to print the result we can just do something like print and within this particular parenthesis right now we can call our function i'm going to just copy this and then paste it in here okay so we'll have our functions in here right now so let's make sure that this is actually the code um what is it called the parenthesis actually comes into this particular place okay so this last one here belongs to this and then we'll have this right here and this actually closes this okay so within this particular parenthesis right now what are the values we want to know um let's say that the height i mean uh, the length of our rectangle is actually going to be something like five i'm going to introduce a comma and let's say that the width is actually going to be something like uh, three okay so you see that this is length and this is width and we can go ahead and then if we save these changes right now we're going to see that we're going to have a result it's going to basically multiply the length by that of the width and then we're going to have something like 15 so i'm going to just send that in right here and you see where we have 15 okay so if you want to let's just add a message in here and just say the area of the let's say a rectangle i'm going to just do rectangle with um let's say with uh let's say with length length five and width three is okay so whatever that is okay so we need to introduce a comma right here right so save that changes and then for run that again you see that it prints out that the area of the rectangle with length five and the width is actually three is actually 15 right here so you can format it however you want it to be guys so that is it so this is just basically how to do that if you want to print maybe you want to test that again by changing the values you can so let's change this to something like seven and the next value to something like this is basically going to be let's say two okay so we should be able to have something like 14 down there and you see that we'll have 14 right here so that's just basically how to do this guys so there is a lot more that we haven't actually covered with that of the functions and we're going to actually take them one after the other we even have something like lambda function there are some other situations that we're actually going to take a look at as we move along okay so if you haven't actually subscribed feel free to subscribe right now and if you have any questions just rush to the comment section and then drop your comment and if you like the video just give the video a thumbs up and then i think i will see you guys in the next one bye bye for now